Griselda is coming here shortly and I'm super excited for you. Talk about how this project came to you. Okay, well, uh, we've, we've been uh, making castings from home since uh, all this COVID started. So it kept the same way. And especially when, when, when it's castings uh, from the US, uh, they just send me the script for the scenes and uh, okay. I do it with my phone. So that's what I did and I sent it back and uh, usually nothing happens. But this time they called me back and they told me, uh, you got it. And then I found out what was it all about. What was it all about? Um, I, I found out Andy Bice was a director whom I knew when I was doing uh, Metastasis, which is the, the Spanish version of Breaking Bad. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, we did that in Colombia some, some years ago. And then I found out it was uh, starring Sofia Vergara. And I just, I, I couldn't believe it. It was so amazing. This character is very intriguing, Griselda. She's fascinating because it's not typical for a woman to be sort of the boss of this cartel. Was there something about this series or maybe even your character, Herman, that really intrigued you to be a part of it? Other than your connection, obviously, with the director. Yeah, well, uh, the story of Griselda is just amazing uh, because it was, in fact, the first woman who brought cocaine to the U.S. And she had to stand up in front of a whole masculine world, uh, all these drug lords from Puerto Rico and Cuba and even Colombia. And she was the only woman. So uh, it's it's not only a story of drug dealing, but it's a story of uh, feminine empowerment, you know? Yes. And uh, even though she, she decides to go the wrong way, drug dealing, she is, uh, she's very interesting. As a, as a woman who stands and 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 does what she did to uh, for for the benefit of her of her family of her kids, so that that was really interesting about her Panesu, Well, although he was a, a real character, uh, history doesn't tell very much about his his uh, his uh, story. So part of it was uh, made up of made up, you know, in, in the script. So I didn't know very much about Herman, but the way it was um, uh, written based on the true character, I liked it very much because he has uh, quite big emotional um, turnovers. How did they describe him then to you when you were first reading the story? Uh, well, Herman is a man that knows Griselda from Medellin. They are, they are well known from the past. And uh, Herman Paneso regrets a lot that Griselda in that time uh, didn't, didn't even turn around to see him, didn't pay attention to him. So then when she, when she calls, calls him because she needs him, then he feels he wants to, uh, he wants kind of a revenge. So that feeling was, was interesting for me to construct the character. I know you said you were familiar with the director, but any of your co-stars, were you familiar with them? Certainly you knew Sophia's name, but were you friendly or anything with any of the people you've worked with on the series? Yeah, sure. Well, in fact, I met Sophia a long time ago, like about 16 years ago. Uh, we were doing the Spanish version of Desperate Housewives. And uh, that was filmed in Argentina. And it was filmed for Colombia, for Brazil and for Argentina. I don't know if uh, someone else, Peru maybe, yeah, I, don't, I remember, don't remember. But Sofia had this character of the of the woman who's murdered. And so she, she went to uh, Buenos Aires and she filmed the first episode and I met her there. And um, Christian Tapan, I know him. Juliet Restrepo, I know her. Camilo, uh, I know him. So, yeah, all, basically all of the Colombian guys and actresses, uh, I knew them. 
did you find anything challenging about portraying Herman or was it easy for you to slip in and out of character because you've been having such a long and wonderful career in the acting business? Yeah, it was again because um, in the first place, many of the characters I've done are kind of comedy. Uh, this is a serious character. And the challenge was also not doing uh, just the cliche of a, of a drug lord or a drug dealer. Uh, the challenge was to make this guy human, uh, which I think uh, I did, uh, mixing all these emotions um, that that Griselda inspires him. So but I, I think, yeah, I think you see in the in the whole series, you don't see the cliche of the drug dealing or the drug dealers. You see a woman that's a human being uh, that's motivated by a lot of, by a lot of things to do what she does, and uh, all the characters are the same. The character of Christian Tapan is the same thing. He's not the, the 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 cliche of the drug dealer. He's a kind of a friend, a real friend, and and Paneso is also kind of the same thing. Every episode I've seen of the series so far, I got a little sneak peek through <laughs> Netflix, has been intense and intriguing. And there's such drama from start to finish. Was there a favorite episode or maybe a, a moment you had on set that you can tell us about that was just incredible for you? Well, all the scenes for incredible were incredible for, for me. I mean, the exactly what you're saying it's so intense and 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 the production was so amazing that everything i i really enjoyed the whole thing i mean every second that i did but i remember i do remember especially the first scene that i that, I, that we filmed and that's when i first meet griselda in miami because it was a long scene because it was the first time that i had to act with her after 16 years, um, the whole crew, the whole team, the whole, everybody was like, I mean, watching you for the first time. And uh, of course I was so nervous and, but I had prepared the scene a lot and uh, spoke with Andy the day before. We had gone over the scene many times and um, searched for motivations and, uh, so it was very, very, very important for me that seeing the first one that I did. And it's, that's a conversation in the hotel when Griselda for the first time uh, asks for more, kind of begs uh, Paneso to, to bring coke for her. The whole series, Stop to Finish, is just beautiful. And as I said, each moment is intense. There's adrenaline, your heart is racing. How do you shake off a long day of being on set? It's different for you because this, as you said, is a uh, drama and you're used to being <laughs> in maybe more comedic roles. So this one might have been a little tougher for you. Well, uh, there's something special about this series. And uh, it's uh, when you're working, you kind of have to stand in two, uh, in two zones. The actor that is acting and the actor that is waiting to act and there's a lot of time when you when you wait for the next scene or whatever and when you when you are waiting in this case i found such an amazing group of people uh everyone was like in the same mood sophia is such a great human being she's so generous she's so funny she's so open so when we were waiting we were just talking and laughing and she would order pizza cupcakes burgers sandwiches i mean i i ended up with overweight uh, but especially it was so the the feeling was so optimistical and so uh positive that when you go back to the set and have to do your thing you do it much better you i mean you your mind is set and ready to do it. At the end of the day, it's the same. You 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 finish with a feeling that you that you did a great job and you can go to sleep, no problem. 
what do you think it is about this story? And you touched on it a little bit earlier too, that makes it so fascinating. That's going to make it such a must see TV series. Well, the first thing I would say is uh, that it's a real story. I mean, this is not uh, fake like many other drug dealing series they've done, like El Capo, or, which are based on probably true, true characters, but the story is not real. In this case, in the case of Griselda, I mean, although it's not a biography, it is based on a real character and a, and a true story. And that story is really amazing. I repeat, that woman who, who had to go through such uh, terrible situations in her life, being a prostitute, having three kids, three kids, uh, murder has her husband, her first hus husband, uh, having to to move all this cocaine to 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 make a living, and then starting this business in Miami for the first time, uh, when when there weren't weren't even scanners in the airports, and you could just smuggle the the coke in the in the brassier or in the in the uh, kids. Uh, how do you call it? Pampers? No, uh, diapers. Um, so, so it's fascinating. I mean, it's fascinating to to just know what it was all about. The story of this woman is is amazing, and it's of course really sad. Of course, uh, this this um, stories never end good. So, in this case, it was the same. She was uh, she ended up in jail and then dead. What's next for you? What have you been busy working on since you finished Griselda? Well, I'm actually starting to uh, to film another series, another Netflix series in Colombia. Um, we haven't start. I mean, we haven't started. I've been doing makeup tests and uh, wardrobe and uh, all this thing, and uh, uh, we're, we're really starting on the first of February. It's called Medusa. And that's tentative. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's, that's going to be the, the real name, but it's uh, so exciting. So in this, at the premiere in Bogota, uh, which I attended, uh, there was all the people of Netflix Colombia, and it was so nice to see everybody together. And uh, I'm very excited to, to work on that. And of course, I'm doing stage work at the same time. Um I have my own shows, my one-man shows, kind of stand-up comedy, not exactly, but one-man shows, which are, yeah, comedy. And that's, I've been doing that for a long time, uh, maybe 10 years or, or more. Forever busy, that's good. That yeah. means the people still love you and want to see the wonderful work you do on our screens and give us a little light of levity from your heart when you do your comedy routines. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, I've I've worked so much in Colombia and done such uh, funny and uh, remembered characters that the people just uh, love me and and treat me so good, and I good. I really appreciate that. What would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the incredible work you do on our screens? Uh well, I, I really want to thank everybody. I really want to thank the people that that watch the series, the work I do, and uh, that are grateful for that work. Uh, I think that's uh, maybe the best that can, that can happen to an actor. I mean, being well received and uh, being congratulated. So I just want to thank him, thank them uh, very very much. <laughs> 